Again, guys, just as a quick reminder, I am going to be um, uh, um, uploading as well the uh, Crusader and Legion playthrough uh, in conjunction with the the NCR one. So, um, so look to look out for that as well. And any links to the game with the mod and the um, frontier itself, there will always be links down below uh, in the description um, section as well as uh, any mods that I'm have added or that I'm using um, alongside the Frontier mod itself. Yep, Badger. Oh, there he is, Officer Pox. One second. Is Mustang. <laughs> Got your ghillie suit, my friend. Um, let's take that. Let's take your stim packs and your Hydra. All right, let's talk to him. Courier, I'm assuming Blackthorn sent you. We're gonna need all the help we can get to deal with whatever this new threat is. What are your thoughts on this? Have you managed to find anything yet? There's definitely something on the other side of that canal, but I can't get close enough to get a good look. What can you see from here? Why can't we get close any closer? There's no safe way to get across the canal. All the bridges are wrecked. Not only that, if we get any closer, we risk getting spotted. And with that death ray there's... Well, you know the rest. He's got a pretty good um, voice actor. I can see a bright light. It looks like it's coming from a machine of sorts. Seems pretty high tech, whatever it is. Uh, any ideas? You're not going to figure this out by standing around you all day. If there was some way of getting on top of that freeway overlooking the area... It would give us the high ground and allow us to remain out of sight. We could see everything from up there. Couldn't we just fly up there on a vertebird? They'd spot us from a mile away if we tried flying in a vertebird. We need to be more discreet. Hold on. I think I might have an idea. It's a bit crazy, but it just might work. Shoot. Oh, okay. <laughs> It might work. Let's go to a loading screen. Oh, I really hope this plan of yours it's like Half-Life. Don't worry, this will work. I know it. Just try not to get yourself killed. Got it. There's only enough room in that bucket for two, so I guess you and the courier will be riding. All right, you ready for this, courier? Uh. Yes. Tell me again what the hell we're doing exactly? It's simple. We're going to use this buggy to ride across the highway, jump in the gaps. Uh, are you sure you, we can clear the gaps with this thing? Don't worry. This baby's pretty fast and it's got turbo to boot. Uh, turbo? It makes the car go faster than normal. Wait until you see. Okay, I guess I'm ready. Great. You'll be driving. I have a feeling you'll be good at this. You have a feeling? I've never driven a car in a Fallout game ever. So, how? Oh, okay. Alright, let's, let's do this. Um, can I take any of these? This is so cool. I'm getting big Half Life vibes. Um, okay. Whoa! Welcome to the vehicle tutorial. Uh, to refuel your vehicle, open up the trunk on the map marker. Da -da -da -da. Refuel requires a jerry can. Ah, okay, so that's what jerry cans are for. Uh, vehicles can be repaired with a thermic lance. Ah, okay, good. So I kept. It's a good thing I kept that thermic lance. Requires scrap metal, though. All right, so I'm gonna have to collect every piece of scrap. All right, I'm gonna forget all of these in five seconds. So. Mm -hmm. Whoa. This is awesome. All right, let's go. Wow. Okay, this is very disorientating. Whoa. Alright, cool. I, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is impressive. I mean, there have been vehicle mods in F Fallout before, I mean, for a while now. But this, look at the physics on the car moving with the suspension. This is probably the best vehicle, m vehicle mod I've seen. <laughs> and also the only one in a Fallout game. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to use the boost here, right? And that's gonna be shift. Oh, and I've used 
Magic. Alright. Now I can't seem to get the turbo to work. I push shift. My shift isn't working. Okay. We go here. Okay, this is okay, this way. And back. Cool. Or well, maybe they're not putting sh turbo on quite yet. They're gonna keep it for something. Ooh. Okay. All right. There's another jump. Oh no. All right. Need to reverse. Let's do it. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Okay. All right. This looks like a big one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have to back up for this one. All right. Let's try this one more time. Woo! We actually made it. Nice driving. I knew you could pull it off. Okay. All right. This is definitely what we're looking for. There's that oh. you were talking about. What is Man, that? These guys look like they mean business. Got a whole camp and fortification set up. What the hell is that thing in the middle of the camp? A force field, maybe? I don't think we'll be able to call in an airstrike on them. And the ground assault would only get vaporized by their death ray. Unless... See that big satellite tower over there? I bet they use that to communicate with Archimedes, too. If one of us could infiltrate their camp and find a way to shut down that force field, we could call in an airstrike on the satellite, and then move in ground forces to finish off the rest. Sound like a viable plan? Um, what do I have to do it? Um, what if we, what if we're wrong about the satellite? And uh, they still might be able to use the death ray. So, so who's going in? Obviously, it's going to be me. If we keep close to their camp, they wouldn't risk using their death ray. It would likely cause too much collateral damage for them. Hopefully. I think you would make the best infiltrator, Courier. I can cover you from up here. I may have also spotted a way to shut down that force field. It looks like there are four terminals wired to the emitter. If you hack those terminals, you could probably shut the whole thing down. Once that is done, I can call in the airstrike and get us some reinforcements. Here, take some stuff, boys, in this gun. You want to remain hidden until the satellite link is down. Oh no, this is going to require science. Um, and how will I be able to cover? How will I? How will you be able to cover me from here? I got my anti-material rifle with me, loaded with armor-piercing rounds. Bet I can drop any one of those power-armored grunts with one shot. Just give me the target and signal. But keep in mind, I've only got five shots, so make him count. Five shots? You couldn't bring any more ammo? Um, what if I don't have the skill to hack the terminals? Yeah, exactly. Look for passcodes. The guards are likely to be carrying them. Either pickpocket them or kill them. Be careful though. Kill too many and you might put the entire camp on alert. Hmm, okay. Alright, got it. Good luck out there. In the soak! Out the camp before you head down. When you're ready, rappel down. Can I have one of those? Is that a custom? <gasps> it's a custom. Alright. I guess here we go. Nice. I'm glad they have these little cutscenes. Not just you, like, getting in there. Uh, when an enemy is highlighted in red, press Z or left stick for execution. Uh, what? Oh, okay. I guess that's him. For him, right? Shoot the guy. Um... I'm not wearing, okay. What about these stealth boys? One stealth boy? Oh, here we go. Advanced stealth boy. Sneak 100. Nice. Sneak 100. Okay, so what's the difference? Alright, well, let's use, let's use these ones first. Let's just check out the area. Going to sneak mode. 
Let's try you first. Nobody, oh, there we go. I see the dishes. This is awesome, though. He's in my sight. And no, not yet. Okay, what is this? People in there. He's in my sight. Passcodes. Take the one. We okay, got that. Not gonna take anything else. Disable sector one defense grid. Camp beta ori orientation. Yes. Transport of new specimen of biological research and to Archimedes two. Specimen specimen are required to be fit, healthy, not irradiated, and all limbs in intact, attached. Okay, let's do that. He's in my sight. No, don't, do not shoot anybody. All right, that's one down. I'm still, still good. Got a target. No, no, no! Don't shoot anybody yet. Uh, is another one? Let me go into third person so I can see. I just know. Got a target. Oh! My. How did he see me? <laughs> oh no! Ah. All right, I failed target it. Target acquired. I wonder if anybody is reading this. <laughs> That's that's hilarious. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. So I put on the ghillie suit and I have the stealth boys activated. I put this on so I can see. Oh. Target acquired. Do you have it? No, you don't. Okay. Got a target. Okay. Oh, you don't have it. Very hard. Um. Okay. So, one of these guys down Got here. Got a target. Have it. Oh, really? How did they see me? Oh, was I not stealth anymore? Fair enough. So we got one more. One more over here. He's 
in my sight. Is there anything? No. He's in my Got sight. Got it. I think it's in this door, yeah. Got a target. Mm, okay. I don't have the key. He's caught me already. What? Got a target. No, so close. Got a target. Oh, neutralized. Target neutralized. Okay. Try and open it now. Here we go. And beta report. I report that Portland has be has been thus far a great location for harvesting new specimen. The low radiation levels and the cold weather provided the most ideal con uh, candidates for the lobotomization program. Whoa! However, the locals seem to have taken an interest in our presence and have been at attempting to chase off we have been at war with the local tribes in order to protect our assets we made short work of them and blasted our our death ray they won't see uh, they won't soon be on our tail again director of Archimedes to biological research center all right I did I did disable it right yeah there we go Right, cool. So there's He's one. There's one more. Oh, I'm not stealthed. There we go. Yeah, this area is quite intense. So I'm just trying to sneak, sneak as much as I can, and not get caught. Because I've failed this uh, <laughs> a few times. Alright, so this is the last one, yeah. Usually it's the guy up here that has the key. Target acquired. And I'm completely wrong. Maybe it's this guy here. Target Beco acquired. Right, so once they catch you, they take the key out of your inventory, so... I Whoa! Okay, I've been caught. The intruder detected. All personnel are to be on high alert. Let's do this quickly! Uh, incoming agent rust... No, no, let's just do this. Um, pause it if you want to see what this is about. Technology, venting, okay. Let's get out of here. Force field is down. Calling an airstrike. Stand by. Alright, should I I should get out of here, right? The attack for terminal. Whoa. The satellite link is destroyed. Friendly reinforcements inbound. Let's clean up what's left. Well, okay. I need a I need a stronger gun. <laughs> Get these turrets offline. Ouch! Ouch! 
Hit him. Oh wait, you're, you're, okay, you're, you're part of the NCR. <laughs> I nearly shot you in the face. Um, let's grab some of these grenades. And let's start using the... I don't have any... My, my energy weapons suck. But uh, we're gonna try it anyway. Energy weapons are so so bad. Oop, no ammo. No. Okay. Um, we can figure death claw mind control. We can figure. Okay. Whoa, death claw. At least say you're on our side. All right, we got a death claw. There we go. Kill him. I can't run with this gun, this gun is too heavy. Um, I don't have any ammo for it actually. Let's go with this. Those grenades. Oh my gosh. There we go, there we go. He was shooting at me outside. Get me out of here, there we go. The guy right here. You are really strong. Shoot him! Shoot him in the head! Oh, I just picked some grenades up there. There we go. Nope. Come on. <laughs> Just die already. There we go. Well, I guess we know what we're going to be putting our points into next. Um, <laughs> energy weapons, apparently. Uh, who are you? Scavs. Okay. That's it, right? Phew! That could have gone way worse. Damn fine work, Courier. Now we need to secure the camp, make sure there aren't any stragglers, and gather whatever intel we can find. I would suggest checking out those vertebrates of theirs first, make sure none of them try to take off. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave you in there. Check this one over here. Oh wow, okay, we're inside. This is awesome. Thanks. 
this. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna need it. Okay. Quite spacious in here. Duffel bag. Duffel bag. Uh use use it. How do you okay, I'm probably butchering that. Uh see find a prime. You shouldn't take what doesn't belong to you. Oh, nice gun. Ooh. Okay, so that's Dr. Voss. What happened? Oh. That's so cool. He shot me right outside the, the vertebrae. Oh, what's that? What is going on? Oh no, it's these guys! Ooh. It's the prototype guys. Oh my gosh. I don't have the weapons for these guys. <laughs> At least I have uh, backup guys with this time. Throw you with that. Here we go. Really tough. Wow. Why am I not hurting them? Okay, I've got to. I've got to get my signs up. He's almost dead, he's almost dead. Got him. Anyone else? Still says there's somebody alive. It's on that side. Um Why is this thing still alive? Gotcha! Ooh, nice! Ooh! Wow! Alright, so... What the hell were those things? They just but dropped down from the sky! And what happened to you and that bird of bird? Um, some scientists knocked me out and and then took off. The scientist? He's probably the one in charge of the operations here. Damn it! He's gonna alert the rest of the Enclave. He also has a device that is used to call down the death ray. If they decide to return with reinforcements, it won't be good for us. We need to get those other two Verta shuttles back to base as soon as possible, and then figure out where to go from there. Basically, yeah. Um, go back to the base now, or stay and explore? Let's go to the base.
impressive work you did out there, Courier. I never imagined we'd get our hands on something like this and deal a significant blow to the Enclave. But this is only the beginning. The intel we gathered from the Enclave camp suggests that Archimedes II is much more than just a weapon platform. It's an entire space station. I have no doubt that this must be the established headquarters of the Enclave. Wei can give us further details. This isn't like any other space station we've mentioned in pre-war records. The structure itself appears to be colossal in size. How big are we talking about? Big enough to be self-sufficient, and it probably is. This must be how the Enclave has been gathering their strength without attracting notice. Come with me, Courier. There's something I need to show you. Um, I, I, I don't really want to see it, but let's go. Oh, wow, okay. This Enclave soldier we recovered has had some kind of surgery performed on him. His head has been cut open and his brain and spinal cord have been replaced with electronic devices. I suspect these were Wastelanders who were abducted by the Enclave and then turned into mindless slaves who could be controlled remotely. This should certainly explain their newfound manpower. The last time we encountered these bastards, they were abducting villagers to experiment on them with FEV. It seems they have finally figured out the means to what they wanted all along. No, we cannot idly stand by and allow this atrocity to continue. The Enclave needs to be stopped and eliminated once and for all. How on earth are we going to do that? We already have everything we need to accomplish this undertaking. We know where their headquarters is and a way to get in. You plan to use the spacecrafts to travel to Archimedes too? Precisely. But that would be suicide. We have no idea what will be waiting for us up there, or if we'll even be able to reach it. I'm confident that with a team of our most skilled operatives headed by the Courier, we will have success in this operation. But what if they fail? It might only piss off the Enclave. Then they'll be coming after us at full force. We wouldn't stand a chance. The Enclave may attack us at any moment. It is imperative that we strike first. Catching them off guard at the core of their operations is the best shot we'll ever have against them. Not to mention, the technology we could gather from this space station. It would dwarf even the Liberator. I hope you'll understand, because we need to move on with this operation as soon as possible. Wait, what's the status on the Verta shuttles? Any chance we could use them to reach Archimedes too? Well, both Verta shuttles appear to be in working condition, and they even come with an autopilot feature. So, no need to waste time training anyone to fly them. There is one thing we are currently missing, however. You see these two power cores? They are needed to power the Verta shuttles, and these ones are completely drained. You will need to find replacements if you ever want to have any chance of reaching into orbit. Surely we must have recovered some replacement power cores from the Enclave outpost? I've already gone through everything that was brought back, and nothing resembled a fully charged, brightly glowing, green, unmissable power core. So, it would seem you are shit out of luck. However, I do know of a place where we may find one. No guarantees, but there is a trade hub known as Junkfleet. The scavengers there have spent their entire lives searching every nook and cranny of this wasteland for pre-war tech. Ah, of course. I believe Rancor knows the place well. He often travels there to gather intel on the frontier. We're bound to find something. Courier, I want you to go to Junkfleet with Rancor in search of these power cores. Any leads you find, I want you to pursue. In the meantime, I will put together a specialized team for the Archimedes II mission. If you have any questions about the hub, Rancor should be able to answer them. And take this as compensation for all your hard work. You've earned it. Nice. Um, okay, we accepted. I don't know why we weren't. If you have before. any questions? Now's the time. What's your middle name? Um, yeah. Well, thankfully, we're two fully grown adults who can take care of ourselves. If anything should happen, we know what to do. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to trust you, Rancor. Fine. I'm a soldier. Always have been. I've been raised since youth to obey and follow orders. No other way around. I will fight and die for my cause because it is what I believe. What I was told to believe. 
There. Are you satisfied yet? Or do I need to explain my tragic backstory too? Well, it would be nice. I mean, I want to know if there's a soft, gooey center in you. Okay, never mind. Um, why are you dressed like a James Bond villain? It's called style, and it looks better than whatever you're wearing. More importantly, it keeps me incognito. In case you haven't realized, not everyone has a favorable opinion of the NCR. Where can I get a cool outfit like that? Um, isn't Junk Flea controlled by the same scavs we've been fighting? The same scavs Blackthorn and you have been fighting? Yes. Which should give you an incentive not to dress as the NCR, unless you're planning on a very unfriendly welcome. Alright, so we're gonna get a change of clothes. Um, what kind of role do you fill here? What is this, an interview? I'm Blackthorn's top reconnaissance agent. As in, I spy and gather intel on the enemy and perform covert operations. I'm also second in command, so do not cross me. Ooh. I don't find you to be as reliable as Blackthorn claims you are. I just wanted to get to know you a little bit. Huh? You're more than just Blackbone, Blackthorn's glorified bodyguard. Watch what you say, Courier. You don't want to get on my bad side. Ooh. Um. Courier, what we do behind the scenes is our business. Just do your duty on the front line and don't question orders. All right, fine. About time. I'll meet you outside Junk Flea. Don't keep me waiting. Hey, Courier. Think you got time for a drink or two? Drinks will be on me. You deserve it for all the good you've done so far. Like right now? I mean, things are kind of serious right now. I like Grey though. Grey seems like a very, you know, like a like a cool character. And I'm, you know, I just, I just hope nothing happens to him. Yeah, why not? Okay, let's meet at the rec hall. Quieter there. You gonna tell me another story? Hopefully it's gonna be better than the last one you told me. Whoa! What's going on? I am recording, like I said before, I am recording um, the other two campaigns at the same time. So we should be seeing that um, coming up next week. Alright guys, so um, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Um, Again, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more uh, Frontier.